Hey, this is Anime Shark. Today I am doing a recap of Bed and Breakfast for Spirits. We are now on the road to completing 10,000 subscribers so please consider subscribing. Aoi is a young woman who was born with the power to see mysterious spirits and creatures known as Ayakashi. This resulted in her being abandoned by her mother and saved by a mysterious Ayakashi until she could be taken in by her kind grandfather Shiro, who shared her ability. Shiro raised Aoi to be kind to Ayakashi, speak to them respectfully, and always offer them food. One day, shortly after the death of Shiro, Aoi gives a boxed lunch to a hungry Oni, ogre slash demon. To her surprise, he responds by whisking her away to the hidden world where Ayakashi lives and declaring that she will become his bride. The Oni explains that he is the master of an inn for Ayakashi known as Tanjinye. Her grandfather, the only known human able to cross freely into the Ayakashi world, had during his lifetime racked up a debt of 100 million yen at the inn. Lacking the money to repay the inn owner, he instead offered the hand of his granddaughter in marriage. Furious. Aoi refuses to marry the Oni and declares that she will instead work off her debt by finding a job at Tenjinya. However, the various Ayakashi employees treat her coldly and refuse to work with her. The sole exception is Jinji, a shape-shifting nine-tailed fox. Jinji used to own a restaurant on the inn's grounds, but it failed due to a lack of customers. After the two bonds over cooking for one another, Jinji suggests that Aoi reopen the restaurant and cook food from the human world, which Ayakashi finds extremely delicious. Several guests get into a fight during which Odana treats Aoi harshly. Aoi finds an elderly drunk Tengu and helps him recover by giving him food she made. The Tengu, named Matsuba, was once saved from drowning by Aoi's grandfather Shiro. Matsuba intended to give Shiro a valuable Tain fan as thanks, but never got around to it. Odana reveals that Matsuba is actually the Tengu elder who went missing after falling from an airship. Matsuba gives Aoi the fan he once intended to give Shiro. When he learns Aoi is collateral for Shiro's debt, he offers to pay the debt and let Aoi live on Nenti, Shuman with the Tengu, and marry one of Matsuba's sons if she wants. He berates Abdana for treating Aoi harshly. Aoi declines Matsuba's offer as she intends to pay the debt herself. Matsuba promises to return if Aoi opens an eatery, though Abdana seems reluctant to allow her to. Aoi meets Kasuga, a shape-shifting Tenuki, who thanks her for unwittingly fixing a disagreement between the Tengu and the Tenjinya servants and asks if she can try the human cooking that made it possible. Odana gives Aoi permission to open an eatery. As a child, Aoi was given food by a masked Ayakashi. Odana gives Aoi a crystal hairpin, which will slowly bloom into a camellia, marking the time limit for her debt. They travel to Yuto, the capital city, and meet Suzuran, Akatsuki's sister. Aoi becomes separated from Odana, and a snowball exposes her as human to Ayakashi who try to eat her. As she fights them, the Tain fan blasts the Ayakashi with a strong gust of wind. The snow was thrown by Oreo, who wanted to get rid of Aoi out of jealousy. Aoi helps Suzerin hide after her master sold her to Tanisuke, heir of the Yahadaya, a wealthy kimono manufacturing family. Odan arrives and escorts all three girls to the airship where they are confronted by Tanisuke and his servants who shoot at them. Aoi uses the Tang fan to defend the airship. Odana reveals Aoi is Shiro's granddaughter and his fiancée, which terrifies Tanisuke and his servants. Oreo is confined to her room at Tenjinya until Odana can decide on her punishment. Aoi begins planning the eatery's menu with Jinji who somehow knew that Aoi likes curry with rice. Kasuga suddenly arrives carrying Oreo who has a fever. Kasuga explains that the servants secretly hate Oreo and now she has disgraced herself, no one is willing to treat her. Aoi ends up caring for her, making toffee ice cream to cool her down. Oreo resents Aoi caring for her, but mellows somewhat after tasting the ice cream. Oreo ends up revealing she loves Odana because he saved her from her abusive former mistress and gave her a job. To impress him, she ruthlessly earned her way to her senior position, entering most of the other servants. Suzuran and her brother, Ekatsuki, fight while transformed into giant spiders. Suzuran wins. 
Odana explains that 40 years ago, Shiro took in Suzuran and Akatsuki when they were homeless and Suzuran is determined to visit the human realm to remember him, against Akatsuki's wishes. Aoi offers to cook Odana's favorite meal, but he refuses to tell her what it is. Aoi discovers the injured and humiliated Akatsuki outside the eatery, shrunken to the size of a baby spider. Oreo, now acting much happier, asks for Oyakuden, as Oreo claims Aoi's food has strong spiritual energy and is perfect for healing spiders. This surprises Aoi, who had no idea her food contained spiritual power. Aoi learns from Suzuran that Akatsuki frequently attacked humans to keep her safe, until he was defeated by Shiro who took them in and eventually returned them to the hidden realm. He visited Suzuran frequently until he took in Aoi. Despite knowing Shiro is dead, Suzuran is determined to return to the human realm. Hoping to help the siblings reconcile, Aoi convinces Akatsuki to help cook dumplings that Shiro used to make. Aoi realizes Shiro deliberately taught her to cook food that appeals to Ayakashi. Akatsuki tells Aoi she can call him by his name if she wants. Despite not saying goodbye in person, Suzuran feels her brother's love from the dumplings which makes her happy. As Suzuran is leaving, Tanisuke attacks Tenjinya demanding to see Suzuran. Odana forces Aoi to leave with Suzuran while Akatsuki fights Tanisuke's servants. In the human realm, they visit Shiro's grave and Suzuran decides to live in the cemetery next to Shiro. Aoi goes shopping and considers whether she wants to stay or go back to the hidden realm. She meets her Ayakashi friend, Shibi, and decides to take him with her. When Odana appears, she happily returns to Tenjinya. Aoi names her eatery Moonflower. The Tenjin Yesheps attempt to play a prank on Aoi after learning the Tengu elder prefers her cooking to theirs. Aoi is attacked by an assassin and saved by Sasuke, a Kametachi, and Tenjin Ya security guard. Aoi prepares him a meal and learns that Sasuke was also friends with her grandfather and often went along with Shiro's more unsavory hobbies of scaring customers and peeking on the women's baths. Odana invites Aoi on a trip to town. Aoi learns an Ayakashi newspaper has identified her as of Dana's fiancé to the entire hidden realm. Aoi becomes interested in the mask worn by the Ayakashi who fed her as a child. She becomes separated from Odana while following an Ayakashi wearing a similar mask and is almost eaten until Odana arrives and reveals that Ayakashi is named Rokusuke and is the farmer who produces Aoi's favorite cherry juice. On Moonflower's opening night, the Tango booked the entire eatery for an all-night party, but Aoi then receives no further customers for an entire week. As a result, she is summoned to a meeting with Bayakuya, Tenjin Ye's chief accountant. Bayakuya orders Aoi to either start making profits or marry Odana. Oreo asks Aoi to make a bento for a famous author who regularly stays at Tenjin Ye to work. Aoi struggles as the author frequently skips meals. Odana gives her advice on running Moonflower and shows concern for her health. Aoi comes up with bentos that can be eaten while writing. A week later, the author, a Nudo Bozu named Hakabu, thanks her for the bentos. He wears a mask similar to the Ayakashi from her childhood and tells her it is a popular style from the South. Aoi learns Hakabu bases his heroes on Odana and his villains on Shiro. When he realizes Aoi is Shiro's granddaughter and Odana's fiancé, he rushes off to start writing. A young girl visits Moonflower and after trying Aoi's food gives Aoi a colorful ball then vanishes. Ginji suspects the girl was a Zashiki Warashi blessing Aoi with prosperity. Moonflower suddenly becomes extremely popular after Hakabu praises Aoi in his newspaper column. As a result, Aoi is requested to attend the imperial court and cook an anniversary meal for Nui Noin, a royal family member, and Ritsuko, his human wife who misses human-style food. Aoi frets about what to cook the royal couple. She finds Bayakuya feeding kitten Ayakashi and cooks him breakfast. He tells her the royal couple went on dates at western restaurants, so Aoi decides to buy beef stew ingredients from the foreign delicacy market. Jinji realizes Bayakuya is acting like he used to when Shiro was bullying him. Odana tries to stop her going shopping without him since he must attend a meeting with the other rulers of the hidden realm. Aoi blatantly bribes him with a bento, so he gives her a necklace containing ogre's fire to keep her safe. Lightning strikes and Aoi, who suffers from astrophobia, 
clings to Adana, who makes her feel safe. Aoi begins to suspect Odana was her childhood Ayakashi and almost asks him but decides not to. Odana continues to worry as he goes to his meeting. Aoi arrives at the market with Genji and his reaction to Western curry makes Aoi suspect Genji was her childhood Ayakashi. Aoi is suddenly lured away by an Ayakashi and she wakes up locked in a tiny room, her tamed fan gone. Her captors say they will free her once she has missed the royal couple's anniversary. Awe remembers her childhood Ayakashi was intrigued she was not scared of him and took care of her when she was alone. Rain leaks through the roof and Awe almost drown. Odana appears and rescues her. She awakens at Tenjinya where it transpires the kidnappers were the still jealous assistants of Tenjinya's chief chef. The chef offers to resign, but Awe refuses to let him. As punishment, Odana orders the chef and his assistants to work at Tenjinya for many years to come. The chef laughs as he realizes Aoi is exactly like Shiro. With the dinner only four hours away, Aoi rushes to cook a pork belly dish instead of western beef stew. She returns to Moonflower where Oreo and Kastuga prepared a meal for her. The royal anniversary is extremely successful, but Aoi collapses afterwards. Because of the high-level magic used to kidnap Aoi Odana suspects the assistant chefs were put up to the kidnapping by Orioya, another in Odana is in competition with who also possibly hired the assassin who tried to kill Aoi. Aoi recalls the Ayakashi who helped kidnap her was a blonde Zashiki Warashi, similar to the one who gave her the prosperity blessing. Bayakuya warns Jinji that people from Orioye may have been involved in Aoi's kidnap. Ritsuko, of the royal couple, visits Aoi to thank her for the anniversary meal and gives her a Hagoromo shawl, traditionally only worn by female members of the Yuto Imperial Court. She tells Aoi how she met her husband, knew Inoing, fell in love, and got married. She also reveals that eating hidden realm food will increase a human's lifespan, but she will still die long before Nuinoing. She also warns Aoi that if she does marry Odana someday she must never show weakness in front of evil Ayakashi. Odana visits Aoi and ends up falling asleep on her bed, to her annoyance. The next day, Aoi visits Tenjinya as a guest so she can accept the chief chef's apology meal, which she enjoys eating with Odana before he goes on a six-day business trip to the human world. He gives Aoi a magic tablet to contact him if she gets in trouble. Aoi tries to hide the fact she will miss him while he is gone. As soon as Odana leaves a crisis arises as Hattori, the front desk manager of Orioya, arrives at Tenjinya. Hattori, Orioya's Tang front desk manager, and Tokihiko, a Shiranui Ayakashi, who is Orioya's bathhouse manager, are reluctantly allowed by the Tenjinya staff to stay as guests. Aoi exchanges messages with Odana via the tablet. Aoi spots Tokiko with Shizuna who panics, body slams Tokiko, then flees with Aoi. Shizuna explains Tokiko was her master who taught her how to run a bathhouse. It is implied she loved him and tried to help Oryoya by finding a new hot spring, but accidentally disturbed a dangerous spirit and Tokihiko was left with a scar on his face from which his blue flame power continually leaks. As a result, Shizuna was fired from Oryoya. Aoi decides to help them reconcile. Tokihiko, who appears to love Shizuna in return, tries to get her to leave with him, but she becomes upset and body slams him again. Genji suspects Shizuna feels she cannot leave with Tokihiko because she feels ashamed and guilty about scarring his face. With some subtle manipulation from Aoi Shizuna and Tokihiko cook a meal together at Moonflower and finally reconcile with Shizuna promising to return to Oryoya with Tokihiko in the future. Hattori is secretly impressed with how shrewd Aoi is. Hattori visits Aoi and reveals he is an old friend of Shiro and Matsuba's disowned third son. Akatsuki argues with Hattori who he thinks is too much like Shiro. Aoi decides to serve shaved ice at Moonflower. Three children go missing from the inn. Aoi and Akatsuki realize they are in the basement. Aoi's ogre fire necklace continues to glow and Akatsuki deduces it is drawing power from Aoi's spiritual energy. The basement is a giant workshop run by Tesso that manufacture Tenjinye's gift shop items.
they find the children who become scared of Akatsuki and disappear again. AoE becomes lost, but Nobunaga, Tokiko's pet dog, leads her to an old picture of Odana with the Zashiki Warashi before she is unexplainably teleported to the children, who are searching for a lost hair ornament. They run out of a tunnel that leads over a cliff, and one of the children falls. She and Aoi are both saved by Akatsuki's spider silk. Akatsuki returns the girl's lost hair ornament he found, and the children return to their parents. Aoi receives a tablet message from Odana promising he will be home soon. Aoi promises to make him another bento when he returns. Aoi serves everybody shaved ice, but notices Jinji is not there. Akatsuki becomes popular with the guest's children. Jinji appears at Moonflower in his nine-tailed fox cub form suffering from an illness. Jinji dramatically improves after eating Aoi's food. Jinji admits he does not think the other staff trust him because he used to work at Oryoya. Aoi assures him she trusts him. Odana returns so Aoi takes him her bento, but overhears him talking to Hattori about Jinji, but before she can hear any more she accidentally falls through the door, making Hattori and Odana laugh. Odana reports to Aoi that Suzuran is enjoying living near Shiro's grave and that he bought all the human ingredients she asked for. He also thanks her for taking care of everyone at Tenjinya while he was away. While Aoi is baking bread, Bakuya asks her for food for his kittens, but ends up taking her to Tenjinya's hot spring where Odana is with Hattori and Tokihiko. He reveals Hattori's main reason for visiting Tenjinya is to avoid his father, Matsuba, who is staying at Oryoya. He also warns Tokihiko that Shizun is precious to Tenjinya's staff, and they won't let her go with him easily. Odana asks Aoi to host a party in the hot spring's kitchen so all the staff can cook together. The party is a success, and Oreo is revealed to be a terrible drunk. As the party is ending, an airship belonging to Oreo Ya appears overhead, and an Ayakashi on board is wearing the exact same mask as Aoi's childhood Ayakashi.